So, well, you have a lot of things that's going on when you're. This just shows you have a lot of things happen to you when you're handicapped, but most of the time. But, and uh, sometimes it happens when you're not handicapped. Of course. But you're able to talk about those things. Yeah. So well, and help other people mm -hmm. who might have the same kinds of things. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know that song that I sometimes sing called It's You I Like? Mm -hmm. I'd like to sing that to you and with you. Okay, okay, sure. It's you I like. It's not the things you wear. It's not the way you do your hair. But it's you I like. The way you are right now. The way down deep inside you, not the things that hide you, not your fancy chair, <laughs> that's just beside you, but it's you I like, every part of you, your skin, your eyes, your feelings, whether old, or new. I hope that you remember even when you're feeling blue that it's you I like. It's you yourself. It's you. It's you. Welcome, Jeffrey Erlinger. It is hard. I'm so glad to see you. Oh, thank you for coming. My pleasure. Oh, it is hard. I want to say God. I want to stop it. It's, a, it's an honor to be here tonight, to be part of your proud mom, this proud moment. You know, when, when you tell people that it's you I, it's you I like, you, we know that you really mean it. And tonight, I want to let you know that on behalf of millions of children and grown-ups, it is you that I like. I say my few words? Absolutely. Okay. Well, yeah. to Jeff Erlinger and all of the uh, all of the wonderful neighbors who have grown up with our neighborhood, this this was, of course, completely unexpected and what a what a wonderful gift and I thank the Academy for allowing this to happen uh, Jeff and I haven't been together for a while we met when he was I think four years old five, five. such good neighbors well this is what I wanted to tell you before I knew that I'd have this great gift tonight fame is a four-letter word. And like tape, or zoom, or face, or pain, or life, or love, what ultimately matters is what we do with it. I feel that those of us in television are chosen to be servants. It doesn't matter what our particular job we are chosen to help meet the deeper needs of those who watch and listen, day and night. The conductor of the orchestra at the Hollywood Bowl grew up in a family that had little interest in music, but he often tells people he found his early inspiration from the fine musicians on television. Last month, 
a 13-year-old boy abducted an 8-year-old girl. And when people ask him why, he said he learned about it on TV. Something different to try, he said. Life's cheap. What does it matter? Well, life isn't cheap. It's the greatest mystery of any millennium, and television needs to do all it can to broadcast that, to show and tell what the good in life is all about. But how do we make goodness attractive? By doing whatever we can to bring courage to those whose lives move near our own, by treating our neighbor at least as well as we treat ourselves, and allowing that to inform everything that we produce. Who in your life has been such a servant to you? Who has helped you love the good that grows within you? Let's just take 10 seconds to think of some of those people who have loved us, and wanted what was best for us in life. Those who have encouraged us to become who we are tonight. Just 10 seconds of silence. I'll watch the time. no matter where they are, either here or in heaven. Imagine how pleased those people must be to know that you thought of them right now. We all have only one life to live on earth, and through television, we have the choice of encouraging others to demean this life or to cherish it in creative, imaginative ways. On behalf of all of us at Family Communications and the Public Broadcasting Service, I thank you for all the good that you do in this unique enterprise and for wanting our neighborhood to be a part of this celebration tonight. Thank you very much.